So hello YouTube, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. A viewer here on my stream used some hard-earned cash, that's mask points. He used 17,000 of them to ask me a question, and the question was, what would you like to see in the Tekken 7 story, and specifically regarding Kazuya, do you feel he should be redeemed, you know, as a character, show some good side again, uh, the Kazuya that at least used to be there, um, and I guess the Kazuya that Jun somewhat could see, while well, she could also be attracted to the, the baddest bad boy in town, you know, the devil. I guess it doesn't get more bad boy than that. And his purple tux, like, oh shit, who wouldn't want to do something naughty with Kazuya? I know I would. Uh, but that aside, um, so here we have the, the Tekken 7 story. And you could hear the, the narrator uh, a little bit there. Uh, he's horrible. And I think that was... Uh, a result of the game not having the biggest budget. As you, you've you hopefully heard on one of my prior videos, Tag 2 almost sank the Tekken franchise. It literally killed it for a while until Harada could convince Bandai Namco, the higher-ups, the board of directors, to give the series another shot and give, us, give them an opportunity to produce Tekken 7. And, uh, well, we got Tekken 7, but I think that they said, sure, make another game, but your budget ain't gonna be what it used to be. And I think that's why they used Unreal Engine, that's why you see so few game modes in the game, that's why there's a lot of reused assets in this game, animations and wind poses that actually look worse than they did in older games. And that's why, instead of a lot of cool cutscenes a la Mortal Kombat, you have a lot, uh, a narrator with some artwork giving you very dull expository dialogue. So, what I'm hoping, so this is the first part of your question, the first thing I hope for for Tekken 8 is that, oh, Tekken 7 sold 5 million copies. Great job, guys. And this is how we at Bandai Namco are going to reward you. We're going to at least double your budget for Tekken 8. So, do your thing again, but now you have more monies to toy around with. And that should hopefully mean we get a better story mode that uses way more cutscenes, way more dialogue, maybe a better script writer, uh, maybe a few better voice actors here and there, but also let more characters, some key characters, uh, give them some opportunity to, you know, have something worthwhile to do. Character episodes sucked. Too few of the iconic characters were featured in the story mode. Like, come on, where was Paul? Martial Law? King? Steve? I mean, it's just, it, the list is endless of characters I feel should have been featured in the main story mode. But I also understand that it was not realistic due to the, I'm guessing, lack of funding, the limited budget. So, Tekken 8, I hope we, we see, just like in Mortal Kombat, way more cutscenes, no narrator, uh, way more characters involved in it. That, that's just the bare minimum to me I want to see story-wise in that game. Now, regarding the character of Kazuya, Heihachi is dead, so now we're going to focus on the conflict between Jin and Kazuya. Uh, Jin has had sort of a, a bad boy streak, where he's done some bad shit. It's like, you know, Tekken 6 story, if you think about it, it's kind of dark. You know, Jin, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but Jin, to end the devil Jin, and end all that is bad in the world, he has to summon Azazel, he feels. And the way to do that, to summon Azazel, you need a huge conflict. So he actually starts a world war. Mishima Zaibatsu versus Kazuya's G Corp, and like millions of people succumb to the conflict. Like millions of people dead, you know, it's a world war. And that actually summons uh, Azazel, but it's like, yeah, he, he's done some pretty horrible shit. 
And th this is interesting. I mean, it gives gives depth to uh, Jin's character rather than always being the good guy, you know, the goody two shoes. But I felt that. Uh, I mean, just looking at those two. I mean, and Kazuya is just outright evil. Unfortunately. He didn't used to be like this. If you look at his Tekken 4 ending, there's... Well, I mean, he's pretty evil there. But, you know, they could do something with his past. You know, he was just a kid when he actually threw him down the cliff. There's obviously something there. Uh, and of Oh no, they ruined his story in Tekken 7. I, I almost forgot about that. Uh, I tried to uh, separate myself as much as possible from the Tekken 7 story. They did a good job with Heihachi, but they, they completely ruined Kazuya's character. Oh, you know what? He never sold his soul to the devil. He just inherited this uh, gene from his mother, Kazumi. So he was born evil, and he has no agency of his own. He's just a mindless evil grunt, basically. He's Frankenstein's monster. He's just angry all the time. And it's... Uh, that's not good, considering what you established before, that Kazuya is good, but Heihachi wants to create a... Heihachi, due to his uh, wife dying, whatever, is uh, sort of, you know, this, this ruthless uh, CEO dictator of Mishima Zaibatsu, uh, and an economic, you know, uh, po powerhouse with his company, and... Um, he becomes this ruthless CEO, and he wants his son desperately to be what he is, you know, ruthless. So he feels that dropping Kazuya down a cliff is the only way to make sure that he is wor a worthy successor of Heihachi, the Mishima legacy and the Mishima Zaibatsu. Only if my son survives this fall is he worthy of being my son, you know, and my successor. And how do we know this was what they were going for? It was in the anime movie, and it was also in Xiaoyu's Tekken 5 ending, I think it was. She She's gonna break the evil circle by stopping Hihachi from throwing Kazuya down the cliff. That story is much better and resonates much more than Kazuya just... Kazumi is evil. Kazuya is evil. They really dropped the ball there. And what did we get? What kind of Kazuya did we get in Tekken 7? Evil, mindless, laughing, zero depth character. So this is where I hope that in Tekken 8, there, there is some redemption for Kazuya. That in the end, obviously he's going to fight Jin. But after having taken some damage or maybe he beats up on Jin... He has a weak moment where maybe he thinks about Jun or anything or his mother and he accomplishes to get rid of a devil gene on his own. You know, and, he, and suddenly he, f he sees everything clearly, there's a redemption moment and then he dies or he, he don't have to be as corny as he sacrifices himself to save Jin or anything like that. But for God's sake do something with the character rather than going ha ha I'm evil Jin kills him and that's the end of a character honestly if if they're so dumb that that is what they do and I'm honestly pretty worried that that is what they're going to do considering the track record right now and the horrible abysmal blood vengeance CG movie where that is what Kazuya does. Ha ha! I am evil! Ha ha And then Jin beats him up. That, that's the movie. And yeah, you're like sitting there like... What? Can't we have a character arc here? Or build upon anyone's character just a little bit at least? Nope. Where does Kazuya start that movie? Ha 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 I am evil! Where is, where is the character at, at the end of the movie? <clears throat> I am evil! You see, to, to create a... Uh, a worthwhile and interesting character arc 
a character has to start a journey at one point, and then throughout the movie, game, or picture, whatever, things happen to the character, and they react to it, and they end up over here, not at the same place as they were at the start of the story. Something happened to the character, they overcame an obstacle or a challenge, and it affected them, and they have changed, or they've learned their lesson, something happened. But unfortunately, in this game, it's just... Cer certain characters are just super flat, and it's kind of a um, tragedy when Kazuya, who's one of the... Uh, well, one of the coolest fighting game characters, ends up being just this 2D joke of a villain who just has an evil laugh, and that's it. But again, this was Heihachi's final game. They did something with him, which was cool. I think uh, it was pretty emotional when he fought Kazumi. They could have built it up more, but it, it was a bare minimum for Heihachi, and it sort of worked. And this is where, please, do something with that guy. Give him some emotional depth for uh, for Tekken 8, which is most likely going to be the final outing of a Mishima storyline. Um, I certainly would appreciate it. So I hope I hope that answers just qu your question regarding where I would like the story to go. Involve more characters, more dialogue, skip the narrator. And Ka Kazuya is just too boring here. He's too flat. <laughs> so yes, I, I would love I would love a redemption arc for Kazuya. I think that would be uh, that would be very interesting. So that was my. His eyes burned with an almost ungodly fighting spirit. He looked at me as though he could see the darkest depths of my soul. So, you're the one who's been looking into the Mishima Zaibatsu's affairs? Who wrote this? He said before making his way to the exit. The way he Who wrote the this? Door, let me know that he wanted me to follow him. Hypnotized, I walk Hypnotized, slowly. I walk slowly.